First, first question. <clears throat> the bombardment of Fort Sumter, Charleston Harbor, occurred on? I saw this hand first. April 12th, 1861. April 12th, 1861. Oh, yeah! And I think it was like 435 in the morning or something like that. Good Lord. How do you do that? Don't ask. Yeah, they and Beauregard had to command, tell the uh, gunners to shoot because the battery commander refused to give the order. <laughs> that bonus point? There we go. Point five? Can you check? I can tell. Yeah, we'll just hear I gotta find the next one here. I'm not checking. All right. These words were uttered by. Here's the words. Upon my weary heart was showered smiles, plaudits, and flowers, but beyond them I saw trouble and thorns innumerable. Who said those words? Oh, there's no multiple choice? Damn. <laughs> mm. that's, that's tough. I'll give a hint. It was not part of the Union. Someone in the Confederacy. Do you think I'd have... Robert E. Lee? No. Nope. Do we lose the points if we... No, nope, nope, there's no losing points. What's that? So we're not, uh, Jackson? Jackson? No. Uh, Stewart. No. All right, it was Jefferson Davis. Um, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no. Second Julian. Wrong era. <laughs> By a century or something. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these questions are. All right, here we go. It was the summer of 1861, and on to Richmond was the call. Both northern and southern recruits feared the fighting might end before they could get into action. On July 21st, the first battle of Manassas. what? <laughs> oh! I was going to say Bull Run. I was going to say Bull Run. It depends. It isn't Bull Run. Yes, we're Union, damn it. We're Bull Run, Manassas, either way. But we're Bull Run, or we're Union. It is. First Manassas, they have as the main force. Anthem. 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 This man, this man was born in West Virginia, in a town of Clarksburg. Clarksburg. He entered West Point as a social upward. Okay. Jackson. You're right, Jackson. Wow. Where were you at, Don? Where were you at? I'm, right I'm Union. Oh, Roger is here. <laughs> Get in here so you know the answers. You can raise your hand. Did you know the answer? Oh, I thought Don was the one with the answer. He no. Is. You no, can answer with answer. us. He's the only one with the answer. Okay. This one might be tough, but we'll try it. A photographer, you gotta guess his name. A photographer was only 22 years old when he 79. was- 79. 79? Matthew Brady. You're right. Daddy's catching up. They were near hot head by two. No, but that's Well, they do have the photographer in their camps. <laughs> it's also- I just couldn't remember his name. I knew who it was, I just couldn't remember the name. Uh, <laughs> That one's no good. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Who was the Secretary of the Navy in 1861? Who cares? It's Navy. I got it. <laughs> Gideon Wells. You're right. Well, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. Don't play trivia pursuit with this guy. You were in the Navy. <laughs> ah! That's a low ball. That's true. I know. For the daughters, you get away. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it's another battle. For three weeks in March, in a bold logistical step described by one British observer as a stride of a giant, some 400 ships transported 120,000 men. Val Vicksburg. Mm. They dropped the landing off. He Went Let's to Raymond, came Vicksburg's back. Vicksburg's was, the Battle of Vicksburg yeah. was actually July. Yeah, it was July. No surrender of Vicksburg. 
No. No, the uh, Battle of Vicksburg uh, was July. It's in the Vicksburg campaign. I can get a point for that. Yeah. Do you know the answer? I don't think so. The shelling of Vicksburg by the... Down there, down there. <clears throat> Keep more thinking. Anyway, I, I will... Uh... He's him and a hon. Yeah, I'm him and a hon. You can always scratch the question. Okay, yeah. They, they have a specific answer, and maybe they don't quite have it right, but... Um... I'll continue on. Same question, okay? Name the battle, and we'll see if we can get it. <clears throat> so they had 121,000 men. There was 300 cannons and a wealth of supplies from Alexandria to Fort Monroe at oh. the tip of Virginia. Okay. That's from early April until the first days of July, 1862, this battle occurred. What was the, the dates? From April until the first days of July in 1862. The Peninsula Campaign? Yeah, that's correct. Wow. Well, that's how you're looking for. I said that before. Okay. Well, that's not even anywhere near Vicksburg. <laughs> <laughs> that's right here. I was thinking the Peninsula Campaign, but I was looking for a battle. Yeah, but I don't think they brought that many men. No, yeah, that was just, I was okay. trying to game it a little bit. Right. Okay. Okay. It's April, 1862. In this specific building was alive with the sights and sounds of springtime. But ironically, this little place <coughs> would serve as a backdrop of the bloodiest two days. Yeah, go ahead. Shiloh Church, Shiloh Battle. Yep. Shiloh Church, Shiloh Battle. I was waiting for it to finish because I was thinking Shiloh. <laughs> I was waiting for the last detail. <laughs> We're too polite. Uh, apparently. Yeah, we're, we all know that one. What are the nicknames for the Union soldiers and Reb soldiers? <laughs> Johnny, Billy. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. On September 17th, wait, wait for me to read this out, because a little backdrop of history. 1787, the federal government was created with the adoption of the Constitution of the United States. Now, 75 years later to the day, Two armies would clash along what creek? Manassas Creek. Antietam. Antietam. Bull Run. Antietam. It's Antietam. Okay, we're on the board. <laughs> we're on the board. Good, you kept the point from him. Good we're, job. We're on the board. We're on Roger, the board. Roger, you're on our unit. <laughs> No, you want to win? No, but if you other... Oh, I thought you put it on my dad. I'm no, like, wow, Roger. No. <laughs> about the football talk with you. Good luck. Gotta keep it away All from right. that corporal over there. Civil corporal. War Generals is the category. Which general commanded the largest army on the planet? Grant. Grant. Custard. <clears throat> that is incorrect. Grant's Ooh. not the right answer. <coughs> Go ahead. Mead. Oh, no. Can we give him no. a no. yeah, answer? You've already given your answer. Can you give a second answer? It's Robert E. Lee. That's what I was going to say. Robert E. Lee. I was they saying say it in my head, Robert E. Lee, but I didn't history. say it out loud. Should have said it. Brittany, why didn't you say it out loud? Because I have no oh, confidence no. in my history. In second, oh, that's a, I'm in second they I'm had General that. Ambrose. Oh. In third, Burnside. Okay. I didn't, I didn't write them. It's just. I remember Grant mainly in the West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, but Grant until, uh, um, after the Battle of Gettysburg, and then he moved to uh, Virginia. Yeah, now he's in Virginia. Yeah, I just know Meade what had seventy thousand at Gettysburg, and Lee had fifty thousand. That's what I was thinking. Mm, I think Lee had more than that at Gettysburg. Here we go. November, eighteen sixty-two. Lincoln selected Major General Burnside to be the new commander of the Army of the Potomac. Burnside was not sure of himself and told the president so. But he was appointed anyway. Mr. Lincoln should have listened. For the fight Burnside brought on at... Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, yep. Was the worst ever. <laughs> this is a disaster. My, uh, I had a grandfather under Burnside at uh, Wilderness. So he was actually fighting under Burnside in the center of the wilderness, and Burnside was horrible. A lot of dead men. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 
Confederate General Robert E. Lee found himself mostly challenged in late April of 1863, outnumbered two to one at this battle, and a well-planned Union offensive. Lee responded with decisions. What's that? Chambersburg. Chancellorville. Ah, you already gave your one answer. That's <laughs> Chancellorville. We said it at the same time, but I said like, Chancellorville. Oh, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do. Uh, we'll do a couple more here. You just don't want us to win, do you? Don't want who to win? <laughs> it was 3:10 on a hot, humid afternoon in 1863. Where was this battle? 310 on a hot afternoon. In 63? Yep. I'm going to go with Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Yeah. Yes. Kendall. Even we have more than one. <laughs> I wish just there it was on a plaque, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to try another quote? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Here's the quote, and you have to say who. Huh? Jesus with Christ. malice toward well, none, to with jail. charity for all. Lincoln. Yes. Your eyes, Lincoln. Oh boy. This is going to be a close one for the All right. <laughs> Let me rally right here. Like to point out, my guy's the only one raising his hand right now. I, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't play trivia pursuit with this guy. That's what I'm learning. Apparently, the whose line was it from your campfire last night? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. Uh, fine. Oh, a pencil, that's probably his. Throw it on the ground. Alright, another quote. I shall take no backward uh, steps. Like Jackson? Like nope. Grant. Grant. It was Grant. He answered it the same time as the other guy. He said it first. Yeah, I said it first. <laughs> it was Grant. Wait, are you 79? No, First I'm in Minnesota. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll say, That's a, oh, you're in Minnesota too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Walk. Do not trot around here. You may not get this one, but we'll try it. It's another, it's another quote. All you need is one <clears throat> The fate of an army may depend on a buckle. The fate of an army may depend on a buckle. Nope. Any guesses? George Henry Thomas. Oh, <laughs> rock. <laughs> All right, name this battle. Siege around Petersburg, Virginia was already a month old and no one was in sight. Battle of the Crater. Battle of the Crater. <laughs> No one else is dead. No, no, no. I'm teasing. Hey, dog, horses are heading back. I'm just got the horses are heading back. Time. <laughs> they got they already hungry. Poop anymore around here. That too. They already poop over here. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Like, All right. Name this. <clears throat> this uh, Union soldier. Actually, yeah. I don't want to say any more than that. <laughs> Born in Ohio and named for the Shawnee chief. William Tecumseh Sherman. You're right. Nice. Very nice. Wow. See, we're making a comeback, guys. Making a comeback. We, oh, it's going to be a close one. Well, that's just for today. You're uninvited to the campfire. Oh. Wow. I've been cheering you on. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I can't come this afternoon? Am I invited? You? We said it. You're okay. Oh, I'm okay now? Okay, yeah. thanks. One of them just on here. We're close to work. And this. This might be the this will be the last one. Double point. Just kidding, please no. Spring of 1861. An aged Union general in chief. You have your name? Yeah. Antietam. Scott. What's that? Antietam? No. Scott. Scott. Winfield Scott. Yep. <laughs> it was a person question, not a battle. It was a person question? Yes. yes. Oh, I yeah. thought he was just all right. He was All the right. commander in chief. That's right. Too old. We got a couple for us. Yeah, we got a couple. All we'll right. He was close. probably one of the greatest generals we have ever had. So, but not during the Civil War. <coughs> oh, he. An uh, uh, anaconda plan was all his. He was strategy. He laid up the. 
broad strokes. So I don't want, I, I'll have to calculate my points here for today, and I also need to talk to Keith about medical demonstration. Um, did anybody have any new recruits today? Just yes, returning sir. ones from Cheadle, sir. Just returning from Cheadle, okay. How many do you have for us at, uh, okay. um, at uh, Astoria? Astoria? Astoria. Astoria, I had three reported. I think that's right. Yeah, it's okay. Simon, Nigel, okay. and then that other person. So I, I gotta, oh, I gotta work my magic math here, but um, and I'm not gonna give away the the point. But yes. Just to clarify, not knowledge base test. The knowledge base. The knowledge base. One, don't you, worry. Yeah, you got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can leave now. You need to go back to school, but, gentlemen. There you go, back to school. Our so, school took it all out. Before before this event, when we left Astoria, the seventh Michigan was in the lead. They might still be by the time I finish calculating the points. But they they currently have the lead. Chased by the first men. Followed by the 69th. And there was a tie between the 79th and the first U.S. But that's before today. So, you, know, you, you had all those questions. A lot of them were about infantry. There wasn't one cavalry question. Yeah, oh. I second that. I didn't make the book. <laughs> we should bring him this. You guys are just an overrated scout force. I didn't bring the. I didn't make the book. Really? But I'm point taken. Um, uh, tomorrow morning we're going gray. What cowboy? <laughs> that, that's blazing on that man right there. No, you, and he will die. <laughs> you guys won the battle this morning what? for us. I have no doubt. So what be battle, nice to him. What, uh, what, who was killed? What prominent uh, general was killed at the Battle of Yellow Tavern? Stewart. He was shot in the arm by. Uh, a dis uh, member of the 5th uh, Michigan who had lost his horse, he, Stuart and his entourage rode up, he recognized Stuart, he drew his pistol, and probably in 1860, because uh, I know the 7th Michigan was equipped with 1860s, and right. shot him in the arm. He died of pneumonia nine days later. What is it with yeah. the Confederate generals being shot in the arm and dying of oh, exactly. pneumonia? I was actually looking for some well, there's, cab there's, questions there's in that. But there that, that he actually made a suicidal charge. We have, he, Don he has a book that I, I was going to borrow so I could put questions. I don't think so. Yeah. I think he just got... The he, next week and give another question you know, and schedule it out. They were basically page. behind yeah. the Confederate lines and that trooper had lost his horse and was walking towards the Union lines when they rode up. But there was actually other three other... Uh, Seventh Michigan soldiers shooting at him. A major uh, with a Spencer two and two other troopers with uh, pistols. <laughs> hmm? You said two 